Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Insects in the City. I'm Sarah Layton, and today we're wondering, when it comes to bed bugs, why are steamers such an effective non-chemical method of treatment? So today we're gonna talk a little bit about steamers and why they're so effective against bed bugs. So two of the biggest issues with getting rid of bed bugs are pesticide resistance. We know that over the years they've just kind of had more and more resistance against any pesticides that we want to use against them and also eggs. Those bed bug eggs hide in the smallest of cracks and crevices and pesticides don't really work as well on them because the bugs themselves are not exposed to the chemicals. Now that's not to say if you spray a chemical on an egg and a bug hatches out a couple minutes or hours later that that bug won't die, but steamers are a really great way to kind of avoid both of those problem points when it comes to bed bugs. When we talk about using steamers, we're talking about commercial grade steamers. This is not your handheld steamer that you bring with you on vacation. Bed bugs will die at about 120 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. These commercial grade steamers that I'm about to show you put out upwards of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means that they kill a lot quicker and you're not just kind of sitting there holding the steamer over the bed bugs. Commercial grade steamers that we're talking about are great for, you know, killing those eggs and addressing all sorts of furniture. And, you know, when you want to use a non-chemical approach when it comes to bed bugs as well, Bed Bug Central always teaches an integrated approach and using lots of different methods when it comes to treating against bed bugs. And steamers are just one of the many tools in our arsenal that I personally love using. So let's take a look at the steamers that we have. Here I have two commercial grade steamers. We're not talking about brands. There are plenty more on the market as long as you are getting to those super hot temperatures of 180 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter. Um, that will just give you a much quicker kill when it comes to killing those eggs and live bugs. You know, bed bug treatments are intensive and they take a lot of time. So the quicker that we can kill the bugs when we steam them, the better, right? So I'm gonna give this guy a push. You can see all of the steam that came off that. Notice I moved my hand away so that I didn't burn myself. Reminder that these are very hot. So when operating them, you want to keep your hands and body parts out of the way so you don't burn yourself. This guy you'll notice has a towel on the head. The head is meant to have a towel. You'll see with the clips. And that's really just to limit the moisture output. You know, as that steam travels through the hose, it kind of cools off a little bit and will come out as water at the end. And this towel really just soaks up that extra moisture so that we're not, you know, dumping water all over the place when we're doing our bed bug treatments. This is another steamer I have here. This guy has a super heated head on it so that, you know, as the steam travels through the hose, it reaches this head and it is reheated. So this lets out a lot less moisture output. And that moisture output and limiting it is really important when we're talking about, you know, treating other people's furniture, putting, using really hot temperatures and that moisture could kind of destroy or ruin furniture. It might cause discoloration when it comes to certain finishes or certain fabrics. So that's something to keep in mind when you're steaming. Um, always test it out on an inconspicuous spot. But for the most part, steaming is one of the best ways to address those bed bug eggs, as we discussed earlier, and to make sure that you aren't dealing with pesticide resistance. You know, bed bugs can't survive when it comes to these really hot temperatures, especially when you're putting it directly on them. So this might be one of your best tools when it comes to getting rid of bed bugs. And this is something as a property manager that you could keep in house to help your residents get rid of their bed bugs if you have infested furniture and you want to limit the chemicals you're using or you just want to bring more of your work in house. So if you have any more questions about steamers, please send me an email. If you have any comments or suggestions about more videos to do, send me an email as well. It's sarah.layton at bedbugcentral.com. You'll find the link in the video description. Follow me on Instagram and go find me on Facebook and I hope to see you next time.